Despite a few months of turbulence for Virgin Australia, one of its major shareholders says it's preparing to increase its stake in the company further. Etihad Airways says Virgin is just going through a tough patch and believes the airline is being managed well. But some analysts are sceptical about Virgin's stability. Tracy Kirkland reports. International passenger numbers may be at a record high, but dividends for airline shareholders are not. It's been particularly stormy for Virgin Australia, which announced a shock profit downgrade earlier this week. But major shareholders, Abu Dhabi-based Etihad Airways isn't reaching for the exit door just yet. We believe in the strategy of Virgin Australia. Uh, there's a strong team there and uh, I think they're doing a very good job in the marketplace and under tough conditions. Virgin's expected to report a full-year bottom line loss of up to $110 million at the end of this month. But at an aviation conference in Sydney, Virgin said its financial woes are just a blip on the radar. There is a distinction between one-time costs and your overall cost efficiency. And uh, from, a, from a sustainable cost efficiency standpoint, we continue to have a, a good cost efficiency platform. We continue to be very focused on that. But any good pilot will tell you a blip can mean major trouble. If you started this business in 2003, you would have put $184 million of equity in and borrowed $139 million. You would have made a profit of $110 million in the first year. Fast forward 10 years, you're now losing $110 million, but you've contributed $800 odd million of equity and you now owe the banks $1.7 billion. Virgin has blamed the loss on a slew of issues, including the carbon tax and the introduction of a new reservation system. That system crashed yesterday, causing 30 flight cancellations and extensive delays across the country. But Etihad Airways says it's just temporary turbulence. We support the management team. We think they're doing a tough job. They're just going through a tough patch. They'll come through. Mr Hogan says he's so confident he's planning to boost Etihad's stake in the airline from 10.5% to 19.9%. But he's hosed down suggestions he wants a seat on Virgin's board. We have a good relationship with the board. There is no pressing need for us to sit on the board, quite frankly. And Deputy Prime Minister Anthony Albanese was talking up Australia's airline industry. Too much of the debate when it comes to aviation has been about problems that aviation creates, not about the economic activity. We have passenger growth levels that are the envy of the world. The vast majority of flights do run pretty much on time. They're good quality aircraft, service is good, um, and it, it's good for business basically. Yeah, we've got competition. It's pretty close to about as good as anywhere in the world. And looking to a return to form, Virgin's counting on clear skies from here.